So now since we've extracted the blood, we spun it down and separated it. Red blood cells, compacted red blood cells. We have protein, um, protein poor plasma and then we have protein rich plasma. This gray area is the, is the area that we want because this has all the cytokines, growth factors um, that we need to actually re-stimulate growth. Wound healing we can do, um, hair growth we can do. This can be injected in knees and joints for arthritis to try to go regrow cartilage, etc. So, so we're about to start the PRP procedure. We're just um, outlining the area. Here's a, a young gentleman that is starting to have some regression or some loss of hair in his temporal peaks. And we're going to do the PRP procedure today in an effort to restore it. We're just marking the area and we're going to start the um, anesthesia process. Usually the worst, the first stick is the worst, and then we go into the area that we just anesthetized. We're going to do a complete ring block around the area to give a good coverage of anesthesia. This procedure, patients can normally go right back to work. Most of our male patients go right back to work after this procedure because it really is it's not that dramatic as it may seem. Tomorrow he may just have a, just some slight pain and some swelling. Otherwise, they, they're fine and they um, can resume normally. So now we're starting the, um, the PRP procedure. Here we have the syringe full of PRP mixed with some other additives that are essential for hair growth. Now we're going ahead and start to inject the PRP into the scalp. You shouldn't feel any of this, no? No, I don't feel a thing. Good. We're going to heavily concentrate it, of course, in the areas um, that need the PRP the most, and then we'll put it around the other areas that need it the least. So now after, since we've done the PRP, we're now going to create dermal injury because we actually want to cause injury to the hair follicular unit in order to activate those growth factors to say, okay, we've got to start to repair them and hopefully repair them normally. So the patient doesn't feel any of this procedure. You doing all right? Yeah. Good. Are you feeling any of this? No. Now we're about to do the injection of the A cell. The A cell is immunoprivileged cells from the pig's bladder. And the reason why we do this, it's um, pretty much the building blocks of life, not life per se, but tissues. So it has all the growth factors and whatnot that help the area to regenerate a lot faster. So we inject this also into the scalp. All right. Now we're just dropping some more of the PRP on the rest of the area. Um, it doesn't really need it, but um, because the male pattern boldness um, location is normally the, the top of the head, you know, we want to also start to mitigate any further losses to this particular area. Drop it off. Okay, we're going to sit his. So now we're just cleaning off the area and going to get him ready for light therapy. So the procedure is now finished, but if the patient aftercare is very simple, if he has any, some more gauze please, if he has any pain, um, you can just take some Tylenol, uh, sorry, Panadol is will be preferred, um, no anti-inflammatories, and he should be fine. Um, if he bleeds a little bit more, we'll probably tell him to sleep with like a, uh, a nightcap or something, one of those plastic coverings, just so it doesn't get all over the pillowcase, but otherwise in that, um, he's good to go. Let's clean up some more. How are you feeling? Good. Just relaxed, to be honest. So he will sit under the laser light for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then he'll be on his way home. 